Hi and welcome back to this channel and uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to design this um, web design here. Okay, we are having this fixed banner, okay, a fixed um, navigation bar and then a parallax effect here. Uh, you can see that the image is fixed. So when I scroll down, um, the text area is the only thing moving. And then the navigation bar is also uh, sticky, not moving when scrolling down. So I'm going to show you how to design this using HTML and CSS. So that's what we are going to do right now. So I'm going to write the first tag, which is going to be a div tag. And I'm going to call, give it a class of box area like this. And then I'm going to add another tag, which is going to be a header tag. And inside this header tag, I will add another div tag and give it a class of wrapper. I will add another div tag with a class I'll say logo, okay? And in here, I'm simply going to add a link. So if you had a logo, okay, a picture, you could add an image, an image tag here, but as for me, I'm simply going to add some text and I will give it a specific font uh, to differentiate it from the other uh, navigation bar elements. So that's it. So down here, I'm going to add a nav class that I'm going to call, um, and then I'm going to add some links as well. So I will say a ref, I will say home, and I will copy this and paste it. So I am going to change these texts, and here I will say features, pricing, then contact us. So that's it concerning the header and outside of the header, I'm going to add another div class. So this is going to be a banner. Uh, so I will say div tag class. I will simply say banner area. So this banner area is going to um, hold the image, the fixed image. So, and I will add some text. I can simply say fixed banner like this. Then I can add another div tag and I'll say class content area and I'll say div class, I'll say wrapper and uh, I'll add a title, I'll say h2, I simply say text details. Then I'm going to add a paragraph tag. So I have some text here. I'm simply going to copy this text and then paste it in between the paragraph tag. I have, uh, I'll paste it, let me save. All right, so that's it about the HTML um, code of this particular design. So I can save, and then if I open this index.html in my browser, so this is how it is showing. So I need to add some CSS code to this. I'm going to add some generic um, styling first. So as usual, margin of say zero and then padding will be zero as well. I will say body, font family, poppins. Okay, so poppins is the font, uh, the Google font I have imported. And uh, I can also say text align, maybe center like this. Then I'll come to class wrapper. So because this is a class, I need to add a period in front of the class name. And I will say width 90%. And then the margin, I will say zero auto. And I will save if I come to refresh. Yeah. So based on the properties I have added, uh, we are getting all uh, this result in our browser. All right, so now I'm going to style the header part of my design. Um, so I will say width 100% and then height, um, let me say 100 pixels. Then um, let me refresh. Okay, so what else can I add? Yeah, background color. I will add this color. So this is the code for the color C0392B. And uh, so I want it to be fixed. 
Okay, as you can see here in the design, when I'm scrolling down, the navigation, the header is fixed. Okay, so in order to get that, I'm gonna say position fixed, all right? Position fixed, all right. So after that, I'm gonna style the logo class because we have a class called logo. Oh, let me scroll up. Yeah, we have this class logo here. So I'm gonna start with width, I'll say 30% and float left. So I want the logo to be on the left side of the header. Okay, let me save this. Come here to refresh. Yes, as you can see here. But I want it to be uh, more on the left. So I'm going to say text align left. Let me save. Yeah, that's it. And then we come back here. I can say line height 100 pixels. So I want it to come down a little bit here. Yeah. Now it has come down uh, a bit. So I'm going to style the link of uh, the logo class. So I'm going to say logo and like this. So text decoration will be none. Uh, the font size 30 pixels. Font family. I'll say Pacifico, and then a color white, and letter spacing was four pixels. Refresh. Ta da! This is how the logo is looking like. Okay, so because this is just some text, and as I said, if you have a logo like which is an image you could put an image tag and then style it in the css uh, the way you want it so the next thing i'm going to style is going to be the nav tag and the nav tag uh, will allow me to style uh, the navigation bar items so i will start by saying that i want my nav to float on uh, the right and uh, I want the line height as well to be 100 pixels, so the same as uh, the line height we gave for the logo here. So I want this to float on the right. Yes, as you can see, it's now floating on the right. So I also need to style each navigation item individually. So I'm gonna say nav A and I will say text decoration none. Uh, the font family poppins letter spacing three pixels. I could give it four, um, uh, the same as um, the logo. And uh, let me say font size. Let me give it 20 pixels and then force the color to white. All right. And I'll say pardon. Uh, so this is going to bring some space between the navigation items. Uh, yeah. So this is the pattern. All right. Now well, instead of a pattern, I, I can give a margin, I guess. Margin. Let's say one, zero, one pixels. I guess that would be okay. And I'm going to also style it whenever we hover on uh, the navigation items. So I want the background color to be white. And then the color of the text to be, um, oh, which color can I give? Yes, a little bit uh, dark. Mm -hmm. Let me save and then refresh. So when I put the cursor, as you can see, while I'm putting the cursor, it is changing. I can also change the font weight uh, to 700, and then refresh. Okay, as you can see, or I can say font weight here, and then remove this. Okay, so this is too much. I say font weight 500, yes. So now I'm going to style the banner header here. Uh, so I'll say banner area. I guess that's what we called it. Yeah, we called it banner area. Okay, so I'm going to start by giving the background image. So that will be URL and then the path to the image. So let me go back to my project directory images folder and here where I have all my images. I think I will go for image two. So I'm gonna say image to that JPG like this. And I'm gonna say background size. Huh? 
cover and the back ground position i want it to be center center all right let me refresh this is not showing let me say top 100 pixels all right um okay i'm gonna add some height so let's say height 100 vh come and refresh all right and i can also say um, the position must be fixed so this is going to produce some parallax effect uh okay so yeah i know i have to add some width so i'm going to force the width to be 100 percent okay so the width is 100 percent so i'm going to add some overlay to the banner area class so i will say after then content so i'll say position absolute tap zero then left zero display block width 100 percent height 100 percent and i'll say background so this is going to be the overlay color i want it to be a little bit dark blue and um, the opacity i want it to be transparent so I'll say 0.7 and z index the one minus one let me refresh that you can see now we have an overlay on uh, the background image so now it's time for me to style the banner area text you can see that we we had um we put this fixed banner so i want to style it so i'm going to say that banner area h2 part in top um let's say eight percent and then font size 80 percent 80 pixels and the color be white then save okay i think we are good to go now let me style the what we called here the content area so it is a class so i'm going to say content area we will start by giving it the width of 100 percent and then the height of 800 pixels then its position will be relative i will give the background color white let me come and refresh okay um okay now i'm gonna say top 500 pixels okay so now as you can see let me increase the top a little bit and say 600 pixels now it's a bit okay i guess all right so after the content area i need to style the text and first of all the title uh, so content area h2 uh, so i'm gonna start by font size that will be 40 pixels the margin zero and uh pardon margin zero i will say padding top 30 pixels then save come and refresh okay yeah i can say letter spacing four pixels i think that's okay then i'm gonna say content area paragraph padding okay and then um line height let me say 35 pixels and then i'll change the text align to make it justify let me reduce the line height 30 i can also reduce this um top and say 550 pixels from the top okay so guys now this is the end of uh, this design as you can see we have a fixed banner the navigation bar is sticky and then this banner image is also fixed so when you scroll down everything remains fixed but only the content area is scrolling and moving okay so guys i hope this video was informative and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and let's meet in the next video for another interesting design using html and css